Welcome back, my friends. Thank you for standing by. Welcome back to, to Contra Hardcore. I didn't think we would be back here tonight. But uh, Mystic Quest went uh, swiftly and smoothly and uh, has left us with a uh, fairly generous chunk of time. So this game has multiple endings. I'm not sure exactly how many. I think five total. Well, I think four and a secret ending. So far I've found two endings and a secret ending. So that's why I think there's five. Um, and uh, we have explored a path toward what will be ending three. So uh, we're going to continue that. We've completed the game as Fang. And we've completed it as Sheena. And now we're playing as Ray. Currently. And we'll see how this goes for us. from the top stage one i should be able to clear without a death so uh if i do lose a life on the first stage it's we're better off to re to restart and preserve the uh you know, get and get our life back since i shouldn't have to lose one but you know it's it's easy to make mistakes sometimes never messed up there'd be no drama to the uh, proceedings hey man welcome in welcome to Contra on Genesis I hope you are doing well that your week is getting off to a great start Lot of success in this game earlier tonight and then we switched to mystic quest and i beat mystic quest and i still had a lot of time left so we came back to this one i really gave this uh, contra a chance when i was younger i figured how could there be a good contra on a sega console it must be a knockoff oh no oh this game is very good I do have uh, I do have some complaints about it. There are some things I would change if I had a magic wand and could fix it a little bit. But uh, I've really I've really been liking this game more and more lately. Uh, 
obviously I was wrong. Hey, but that's a good thing. Now you, hopefully you can make the, uh, you can make the time to, uh, check this one out now. And it'd be a good thing that you missed it all these years, because that means you still have a great new Contra game to look forward to. Oh, I thought that was going to land on me for sure. I love Contra on the Super NES. This game looks old in comparison. Could have been said for the Castlevania on Genesis versus Castlevania 4 on the SNES. I actually like uh, Castlevania Bloodlines on the Genesis. I actually like that game more than Castlevania 4 personally. I know that's not the majority opinion, but uh, I like it quite a lot. But I do get you. I do get you. I think the Super Nintendo games hold up stronger if you're looking at them. If you're just looking at them side by side. But like, I like the way Bloodlines plays better. The way it's more like the uh, the NES games than uh, Castlevania 4 is. I do like the way that. I like the way that Contra 3 on the Super Nintendo, I like the way it controls way better than uh, this game does. I kind of think I like the, s the style and attitude of this game a lot more, but there's the... The Super Nintendo wins for controls, hands down. Just having more buttons and having the shoulder buttons. Which, I mean, you know, the Genesis can't really help since it came out first. It's at a disadvantage by being older than the Super Nintendo, but... Boy, I wish I had a Super Nintendo controller when I play this game. <laughs> I think both Contra and Castlevania are good on the Genesis now, but didn't actually play those until way later. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm only discovering them now as well. I, uh, I had very minimal access to uh, Genesis stuff uh, growing up. I just, I didn't have any myself, and I didn't really know anyone who did.
Kid Chameleon, Vector Man, Decap Attack were my favorite Genesis platform games. Besides Sonic 1 and 2. I've played Vector Man. Vector Man is alright. I I didn't love Vector Man. I thought I thought I was going to. I was like, you know, like, ooh, run and gun. Running gun platformer with a double jump? Sign me up. And maybe if I spent more time with it, it would grow on me more. But I, I thought I was going to love Victor Man, and I just ended up kind of liking it. And Decap Attack and Kid Chameleon, I've never played either of those. Like Kid Chameleon. I mean, I'm always ready. I'm always ready to give a new platformer a chance. Might be on the uh, Nintendo Online. I don't have the uh, so I don't have the expanded subscription to the Nintendo Online, um, which you you need to have for the Genesis games, I think. I just have the. Just have the base, the base level stuff. Double mad. Uh, I don't even want to talk anymore. I hate this game now. I really hate this game. How in the world did I lose so many lives? How in the world could I possibly have lost so many lives? gonna game over right now. There's no escape. Genesis Collections? I don't know what that... I don't know what Genesis Collections you're referring to. I probably don't... I probably don't have whatever that is. Get it for ten or fifteen bucks. Well, there we go. Yeah, I just pick up. I just pick up a copy at some point then.
A day with Frowny and Contra is a day worth waking up to. Thank you, Itty. That's very kind. I, uh... I'm pretty, I'm pretty upset by the way this boss just treated me. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bent out of shape at the moment. That was like, that was tremendous. Tremendous levels of garbage. I just, I don't even know how to react. Other than blind, seething rage. Uh, on the 360 and current consoles, yeah, I don't, uh, probably don't have anything that would play any of those but you, you know if it's just 10 or 15 bucks i might uh, come across it and uh and be able to pick it up kid chameleon hey we have another raid angelus welcome in thank you for the uh thank you for the raid angelus always a pleasure to have you here of course welcome to your friends i'm gonna try and type you a shout out here and while i do Please come in and tell us all about your stream tonight. What were you up to and how did it go? Sega Nick, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Great game. I've been enjoying this one. I've been enjoying it. I've I've got my uh, I've got my gripes about it. There's a there's a few things. That drive me a little crazy with it, but uh, I've been liking it more and more. The more I play it, the more I like it. It's a, uh, it is a very fine game. I'm still really an 8-bit Contra guy. I think I haven't found, I haven't found any of the Contra games that I love as much as the uh, the NES games. But uh, you know, like if. Uh, If the uh, if the eight bit games are A tier, the sixteen bits are you know B tier. They're close. They're still really really good. I'm kind of new. I'm kind of working my way through the series. I only started playing Contra for the first time a couple years ago, and I've been slowly working my way through them, and uh, haven't haven't been disappointed yet. I'll have to track what you've done in Contra games, Itty says, so I can let you know when the AVGN Contra video will be spoiler-free. Well, I've done six of them. We've done Contra, Super C, Operation C, Contra 3, Hardcore. Hardcore I'm still working a little bit on. There's still a little bit I haven't seen in this game. And uh, Contra Adventure on the uh, PlayStation. And it certainly is. It certainly is a tough game. Not impossible, though. Just, uh, it's, you just have to learn it. Angel says, I had nothing but chaos. I beat Blazing Lasers once, but the mic didn't work, and the game gave me fits. So I had to do a new stream. Sadly, I wasn't able to replicate the successful completion of the game on my second stream. So then I went looking for cheats. But the invincibility code is buggy and I could never get it to work. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Angelus. Hats off on the uh, on the victory. I mean, I'm sorry you lost it, but, uh, you know, or the, or the footage. But at least you, you do have another victory, uh, you know, to add to the, the wall of, of, of accomplishments. Uh, you might be just about good then, Eddie says. I'll uh, watch it again and double check. I know he mainly covers one in Super C. Right on. I think I've pretty much exhausted 
Contra 1 and Super C. I would be I would be really amazed if there was something about either of those games that I hadn't seen yet. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> have. Uh, Sega Nick says, I grew up with this one, never played the others until recently, so I'm kind of the reverse of you. Yeah, right on. I tend to, I tend to gravitate a bit more towards 8-bit games than 16-bit games in general. So, you know, my, my preferences are a little, are a little skewed, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Well, I have uh, slightly different tastes, but, you know, they're, they're all wonderful games. I played, I, I played the very the first Contra for the very first time uh, two years ago. We actually did it on the stream, and I was it was just like I kind of immediately fell in love with it. It was uh, it was so good, and uh, I played Super C. And I like Super C even more. And then I kind of decided that, like, I wanted to start working my way through the series kind of slowly. And I started doing, like, like practicing for challenge runs of some of the earlier games. So, like, I've done, I've done several Deathless runs through the NES Contras. Um... Like, we did it any percent, and no items, and all items. And I did the same thing for Super C, and my plan was kind of to do, to do, to do each game. To try and play each of them until I could get good enough to do a Deathless Run in each category. And that's still kind of the plan, but... I haven't been making a lot of progress with it lately. <laughs> Contra 3. Contra 3 on the Super NES really hurt me. The, uh, the, the hard mode in that game is so hard that it kind of set back my plans. Because I was like, if I'm gonna, you know, if I'm gonna do challenge runs, if I'm gonna do challenge runs of Contra 3, I have to do them on hard difficulty. But I can't even beat the game on hard difficulty yet. It's outrageous. Boy, I am blundering. I am blundering. My challenge is just beating every game. Getting good enough to Deathless anything, especially Contra. I'm not built for that. I mean, it was a lot of work. <laughs> The, believe me, there's no natural skill or talent involved. It's for me. It's just it's basically just uh just playing the game so many times that like I exhausted every possible way to fail until I accidentally got it right. <laughs> That's pretty much how all my challenges work. Angela says, then I tried using the code to show off the ending, but never could get that to work either. That's so weird. That's so weird when even the uh, the cheat codes don't work for you. Contra 3, Contra 3 really is no joke. On, like, normal difficulty, I feel like I, I, I had... Well, I haven't played it in a while, so I can't say I have, but I feel like I had a pretty, like, decent grasp on pretty much the whole game, except the, the one thing I've never really figured out is the battle with Ridley at the end of Contra 3. That's my that's my my one like major roadblock for normal playthroughs of that game. Is I just I don't 
I don't have a meaningful approach to, to Ridley. I don't know why I'm like, I'm losing so many continues so early in the game. It's such a, it's such a shame because I, I need those in order to make progress later on. I'm actually going to do. I'm just going to go to end. I'm going to take it from the top. Because this battle is uh, dampening my spirits. I think I'll do better if I just take it from the start. Uh, have you gotten any of the endings? I've gotten three of the endings. Um, so far, I... I don't want to look at that. That's uh, that's a level I haven't seen. I don't want the demo to spoil it for me. Um, so they're like the branching paths. I picked all the top paths and I got to the end. And I picked all the bottom paths and I got to the end. And now I'm experimenting with a, with a, one of the paths where you mix the top and bottom choice. And I've, I've got to one of the endings as... Fang, and I got to one of the endings as Sheena, and so that's why I'm sticking with Ray right now, is because I'm I'm trying to explore each of the paths and each of the characters one by one to very slowly unfold the game. I found a secret ending too. I found there's a place where you can climb a wall, and there's a secret boss rush, and then you go back in time. I found that. I, that was actually the first ending that I found. That was quite the surprise. That's a good one. So I found the ending where there's a boss that's like a brain with eyeballs. It reminded me a lot of Contra 3. And I found the ending where the colonel turns himself into an alien and then he grows into this thing with a, with a head snake on either side of his body. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, I, it was, it was Castlevania themed, I, uh, I definitely noticed there was Castlevania music, and there was something else Castlevania about it that stood out as well. Angel says, blazing lasers requires you to enter sound test mode, and then you have to press the one and two buttons on the Turbo Graphics controller and press select button 21 times to get to debug mode. And you're supposed to be able to go to sound number 77, press up and down before leaving the debug screen. It's supposed to reset and make you invincible. All it did though is freeze the game. Oh my. Welcome back, Zeldavania. <sighs> Yuck. I've been lurking right on. Thank you for the lurk.
from the top. From the top, again, faster. <laughs> So where I've kind of left off in my challenge run quest, I was up to, like, I did Contra and Super C. And I did a Deathless run through Operation C on the Game Boy. And where I've kind of left off was with the no items run in Operation C. <laughs> I, uh... I was working on that run when I tried Contra 3 for the first time. And it, and it, and it dampened my spirit a little bit. <laughs> So I haven't I haven't worked on that one in a little while, but we'll uh, we'll get it we'll get it knocked out somewhere down the line. But I was working on the no items, and I think I could make it up to the last stage. But uh, there's an elevator there's an elevator portion on the last stage in Operation C that's really tricky, and it's super tricky when you don't have any items. <laughs> I never, uh, I've never developed a good strategy for it. I was, oh, J.K. Simmons from Whiplash. Oh my. Not quite my tempo. J.K. Simmons from Portal 2. <laughs> Lemons. Uh, good night, Frowny. Hopefully I'll be able to stick around longer tomorrow. Hopefully my next stream will go better and I won't have to attempt to repeat it. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm sorry, Angelus, that... You ran into that difficulty. I hate to hear it. But I do appreciate the raid, and it was, as always, good to see you for a little while at least. I hope you have a great night and things go much smoothly for you, much more smoothly for you tomorrow. When life gives you lemons, get mad.
No, what's he doing? Oh, that was terrifying. You play on real hardware. I do, uh, Sega Nick. I've got a Genesis. I've got a big old box C CRT television. I try to stick with original hardware as often as I can. Um, I don't really have anything against emulation, but I do really like the feel of the old hardware, and I'm kind of lucky to be in a position where I've got a pretty nice physical retro collection. So I really try to prioritize using it as much as I can. I'll emulate something if I absolutely have to, but when it comes to like the like the sort of platforming and action games that I really like, I'm really attached to a particular feel that I expect from them, and I just, I've never, I mean, not that I've experimented a ton, but I've never really found an emulation setup that gives me quite the responsiveness that I'm, that I expect. Know much about this game. I know this boss is always hilarious. <laughs> uh, if I had a well put together 8 and 16 bit retro collection with a good CRT, I probably wouldn't play much else. I mean, I I I kind of I kind of don't. <laughs> toss it a PS1 and in 64 and it's over. No more sunlight for me. I feel the same way. I use an EverDrive and the like, but I try for the real systems. Uh, makes playing the Atari 5200 a pain though. I actually don't have any experience with that one. I've heard the controllers for the 5200 can be pretty bogus. It's really about the only thing I know about it. I don't have a... It's wild. I don't have any EverDrives, but uh, I'm certainly not against them at all. I'd like to get a few. And I was actually planning on getting one for my NES here recently, but I had some, uh, I had some unexpected uh, expenses kind of hit me, so I've delayed that plan a bit. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely interested in getting an EverDrive for um, my my NES, my Genesis, you know, my Super Nintendo, my Nintendo 64. I'd like to have like a set, you know, maybe even get a Game Boy Advance one that I could use with my GameCube for that kind of stuff. But uh, that'd be the dream. A little pricey. I'm gonna, you know, hopefully pick them up slowly over time. Did that guy come from? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm so unlucky. That was not correct. We were doing so well. Two big complaints about this game. Well, the thing is, the things that get me about this game is one, on the run and gun parts, 
the camera really drives me nuts because uh, the camera doesn't scroll until you're so close to the right hand side of the screen. Like the camera should scroll when you're over here. So you could see what's ahead of you. But it doesn't. You've got to be like 60% of the way across the screen before it scrolls. That's that's not good. That's not good. So like that's like the thing that's like I think it's not my fault. That gets me all the time. Uh, the thing that's more my fault is that I have a lot of trouble with the controls. I fumble with the controls a lot. And, uh, you know, that's really just on me. I still don't feel happy about it, but I can't be as irritated at the game. Struggled getting a 2600 working properly on my new TV. Ended up buying a Retron. Plays most of my Atari cards. Uh, you got your Ataris modded for the stream. Retron 77 plays all the carts in HD. And I can mod the console and play them via SD. Works with the original controllers also. Right on. Uh, always felt the Hyperkin systems have a slight lag on them. You don't have that issue. Not with the Atari console. Yeah, that's why I that's why I stick to the CRT is because the the like the input delay that you get with a with a modern TV. It's such a like it's it's so small, but like it's not non existent and it drives me crazy. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> All right, 
right, I got about 40 minutes left. I gotta, I gotta get a move on. Unfortunately, I've got sort of a firm like time where I have to end the stream because I, uh, I have a, I have a dentist appointment in about an hour and a half. Beat Ghosts and Goblins twice with the Xbox controller via uh, Mess Minson emulator. Someone told me later that version lags. I had no idea. It's like when you wake up early for school so you could sneak in some video games before leaving for the bus. <laughs> kind of like that. I kind of live on a reverse schedule so I could do the stream at night. You, if you can beat if you can beat ghosts and goblins <laughs> with with your setup then I would say it's working for you When the game slows down, I say to myself, oh, look, it's trying to help me. that slow down for Gradius and R-Type. When it comes to the controls, the things that really I have difficulty with is there's no dedicated bomb button. And uh, the way the, like, the toggle works, to toggle on and off the like locked aiming mode, it just uh, it gets me into a lot of trouble because it's the same button to change your weapons and to toggle that. And so I, I do things I don't mean to all the time. And I have a bad tendency. So like that's one of the, like, the number of buttons drives me crazy, right? And then the other thing that drives me crazy, again, that's not really the game's fault, but it's a me thing is I'm not really used to the Genesis D-pad, so I do a lot of accidental diagonal inputs. Which, like, if I want to quickly slide out of the way of, of, of an enemy or something, like, I just, I have a bad tendency to, uh, to not. <laughs> I slide the, I'll slide the direction I don't mean to, or, like, you know, I won't duck. Instead of ducking, I'll start running. And, oh. I just the the deep I'm, the shape of the D-pad is I'm not used to it so I'm my own worst enemy. I don't have a six-button Genesis controller, man. So I'm a I I it might support it it probably supports the six-button controller. I think it's a later game, so I I think it supports it, but I don't have one, so I have I'm. I'm stuck. Yeah, 
it might would be worth it. It might would be worth it to pick one up just for this game, though. I would get one if you, I were you. I love that controller. Oh, we have a raid coming in. Very nice. Hello, hello, Mr. Supper. Welcome to the stream. Pleasure to have you with us and pleasure to have your friends here. Thank you for the raid. I'll go ahead and give it a, a pause it here so I can welcome our friends in properly. That's Senator Ari, welcome in. Mughal Symphony, welcome in. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, dropping by. Welcome to Contra Hardcore on the Genesis. This is a game I've been working on this one a little bit, uh, trying to slowly uncover all of its secrets. I've been uh, working through it like I always tend to do, uh, working through blind and uh, one by one kind of uh, finding the different endings that the game has and trying out the different characters. It's been a really good time. Tell us about uh, your stream, my friend. What were you doing tonight, and uh, how did it go? We'd love to. Uh, we'd love to have the details. <laughs> I'm just clicking through and checking out your page. I love. I love your icon. <laughs> That's wonderful. About Mr. Suffer, my Santa hat smells like cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got to give you a follow. Resident Evil Zero. Oh, right on. That's a game I started. I played the Resident Evil remake on the GameCube, and I really loved it. Um, I had a lot of fun with that game. I got Resident Evil Zero um, because because I liked the uh, because I liked the the remake. I played a bit of it. But I never finished it because I got myself soft locked. <laughs> and it broke my heart, and I never had the strength to restart it. Uh, playing some Adventure Island on the uh, NES, I would guess. I haven't tried that one yet myself. I know a bit about it. It looks like, uh, well, I think I do. It looks like it's like an auto running kind of platformer. Resident Evil Zero is a bit of a mixed bag. I uh, I don't know that I made it far into the game enough, or uh, I feel like I made it pretty far. I got stuck, so I say I softlocked myself, because I got stuck in a situation where I saved in a room. I saved in a room that like only had one exit, and it exited into a boss arena, and I had no weapons. <laughs> So, uh, it was either I was going to have to learn how to fight the boss with a knife, or I was just, or it was just the end of the road for me, and I wasn't that good. <laughs> I was nowhere near that good. Oh, I hate to ruin the ending, Zeldavania says, but spoilers, Frowny beats the game. Close spoilers. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Frowny and Suffer have similar icons. Must be cousins. <laughs> Silver Surfer? It's Mario. If Mario hated its players. I thought, I thought, I thought that game was called The Lost Levels. <laughs> Mario if Mario hated its players. Oh man, you said I 
Min said the same thing. Yeah, I should read the chat. <laughs> I stole your joke, Min. Uh... Oh my. So for everyone, uh, for everyone new to the stream, uh, once again, thank you for uh, checking out what we do over here. I'm Frowny, of course. Um, I stream several nights a week in the central time zone. I start up around 11 at night, and we go until question marks, usually for about five to seven hours. Uh, I'm overwhelmingly a retro kind of guy. I'll play newer stuff on the Switch from time to time. Um, but mostly it's the older stuff that I love. I uh, prioritize very extremely strictly blind playthroughs of everything I do. Uh, I try to never do any research. I try as hard as possible to never receive any help or advice when I'm working my way through a game the first time or challenge runs. I try to do them all blind. and uh, That means I very rarely have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm always confused and lost and wrong and struggling. <laughs> but uh, the one good thing about the way that I like to do stuff is that the uh, the confusion allows for some pretty amusing moments of discovery from time to time. And the hard-won victories are quite glorious. I like, uh, I like brutally difficult arcade-style platformers like this, like Castlevania, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I try to do challenges of games like that, to beat them deathless, or with other sort of like no items, or just disadvantages. And I like jank, broken trash games. I play a lot of licensed games, I play a lot of plug and plays and uh, Everything I do, I try to take it to credits as often as possible. And if the game's really terrible, I might just sink my teeth in and 100% it. Uh, heading out, have a good stream. Thank you again for the raid, Mr. Supper. It was great to, uh, great to have you and your friends drop by. We will try to take very good care of your people. In the meantime, have a wonderful night. I don't know exactly that, or that whole no research thing. I don't know exactly how many endings this game has. I suspect there are four uh, plus a secret ending. And I say that because I found two endings and a secret ending. And I'm on my way to ending three and just, you know, based on the based on the way that the, the branching paths have worked. I'm going to be very surprised if there are more than four endings. Never play Transformers on the NES ever, Min says. I'm not, uh, I gotta say I'm not entirely sure why, why not. Uh, we did have a new follow, by the way. Um, I'll preserve your anonymity by not reading your name out loud, friend. But uh, we had someone uh, follow shortly after the raid, and I certainly appreciate you coming on board with us. And I hope you're having a wonderful evening. It's so difficult. I've questioned my life choices. <laughs> After, uh, after, uh, after Battletoads, after Battletoads, I kind of feel, like, inoculated, right? 
<laughs> certainly, uh, certainly, I'll struggle and suffer with with more and more games, but I. It's hard to it's hard to imagine it's ever gonna get that bad again. I played Transformers via emulation. I think it might be a Famicom exclusive title. Getting is, we're getting pretty close to um, it's worse than Silver Surfer if you played that you know I have not played Silver Surfer yet I've heard horror stories about it oh this level no oh this was rough well, I hope this weapon works Thank goodness. I was worried that the homing wasn't going to work very well and I would be... That should be on your list. I don't usually see you playing shooters. That's probably why I haven't tried it. Yeah, I'm very much a... I'm very much a platformer guy. Um, I don't dislike shooters. I just haven't really gotten much into them either. Um... The, the only shooter that I've really spent like a solid chunk of time with so far is Gunsmoke on the NES. And to be fair, I like I like Gunsmoke a whole lot. I don't I, I haven't tended to play a lot of uh, shooters or a lot of beat em ups. Those that's those are both like genres that I need to to get into more and just haven't.
such a weird boss. It's such a weird boss. Finishing Gradius would probably be your gateway drug to the genre. <laughs> This is as far as I've seen the boss we're about to come up to. I haven't beaten this boss yet. It is, it is the Ed 209 from Robocop. You have five seconds to comply. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I love it. No, I didn't think that aimed for me. I thought that that worked differently than I thought it did. No, I went to a bad place. Hey, we're doing we're doing all right though. That's way better than I've done there. That's uh that's good. Phase one. The phase I've never seen. Oh, this is Mother Brain from uh, Operation C. I didn't realize that until just now. We've seen this boss before. <laughs>
Oh, this is something else. That might be it. I lost control of my character. I think that's an ending. I thought there'd be another stage. Ugh, just one more step and I I didn't I, I didn't get the ending dialogue. missed out. I missed out. I've got to replay it now. That's another ending. That's four endings, my friends. I think we've got one left to get. We got two of them tonight. That's great. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if the like I'm supposed to understand what this uh, bird is all about, or if it's just symbolic of something. I think this is going to bring an end to our stream for tonight, my friends. It has been fantastic having you all here. I really appreciate the uh, company and uh, celebrating with me uh, the victories we've had tonight. Two endings in Contra Hardcore and uh, the end of Mystic Quest. That's a lot. That's a lot to get done in one night. I'm feeling pretty good. I'll uh, find us somebody to raid. If you would uh, stay on the line. I should be back uh, tomorrow night, again, uh, around 11 p.m. Central Time, maybe a little bit later. Um, the plan for tomorrow night, I believe, is to play Haunted Castle. I've been uh, practicing that game. I'd eventually like to do a one-credit clear. Um, if you don't know Haunted Castle, it is an arcade game. It's a Castlevania game, like a real made-by-Konami Castlevania game, except it's horrible. <laughs> And for some reason, I can't stop playing it. So we're going to do that at the start of the stream. And then we're going to do more of the uh, new the new Kirby game. We've been working on that for a while. That'll be in the second half. So both those games tomorrow night. And on uh, Wednesday night, 
again, starting up around the same time. A lot more Contra. Uh, Wednesday is uh, William Shakespeare's birthday. And uh, given that the heroes of the original Contra are named after William Shakespeare, I thought it would be great to uh, do a little Contra marathon. So we're going to play through um, as many Contra games as I can beat. Um, probably the first six or so in the series. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to make it through them all. It's not going to be a big production or a big spectacle or anything. It's just a fine excuse to play a whole lot of Contra. So uh, those are the streams that are coming up in the immediate future. Hopefully I'll get to see you for some of that. Or if not, then uh, something else very soon. Until I get to see you again, my friends, I hope that you are well. Um, I'm going to send us over... Well, hang on just a moment. I'm going to send us over in the direction of Man Burning. Um, he's doing some uh, Mega Man games. He's on working on Mega Man 5. That's my wife, Jelly. That's her favorite video game is Mega Man 5. But I think he's going to do all six of them. He's practicing for a marathon um, that's going to contain all six. He might just be doing the one tonight. I can't be sure. But I'll push us in his direction. Um, Man Burning is a, is a, super, is a super friendly guy. Uh, he's really nice. I do have to give you the heads up, though. It's not a family-friendly stream. There will be adult language or mature conversation topics. It's also a much louder and more animated stream than we tend to have going on around here. Um, so uh, just just a heads up about those things. But you'll have a good time if you're all right with both of those. Um, then uh, come along and check him out. And uh, wish him luck on the Mega Man practice. Because uh, those uh, Mega Man games are, uh, are no joke, right? <laughs> They're pretty tough. Uh, one last time, though, thank you very much for being here, my friends. I, uh, I really appreciated your company. Be well until I get to see you again. It is time to head out. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs>